A hugely requested feature going from Xenoverse 1 onto Xenoverse 2 was for stats to be removed from clothing and armor completely. And in this situation, I believe that Dimps and or Namco have completely smashed this out of the park and I honestly have to commend them for this because this is brilliant. Recent new information has came out which revealed a mysterious item called the QQ Bang. And what's funny about this is that when it came out, for the most part, people didn't really care about it. That is, until very, very recently, where we found out what this was. In a nutshell, the QQ Bang allows you to wear whatever clothing or armor or equipment you want, or lack of, and still have amazing stats. So the description of the QQ Bang reads, At the Capsule Corporation, you can test your skills with Vegeta and create powerful equipment known as QQ Bangs. Testing yourself with Vegeta will give you a number of quests where you battle with Vegeta. More quests will be available if your character is the same. QQ Bangs can be created at the costume combiner. You can choose pieces of equipment to put together to make a QQ Bang. Adding in a material item in addition to equipment might result in even bigger power. The rarity of costumes and material items also affects the equality of QQ Bangs created. QQ Bangs that you've made will vastly outperform their ordinary counterparts, but if you equip any, you will not receive attribute bonuses from other equipment except Super Souls. Firstly, I will be talking about Super Souls in a moment because there's something about them which I really dislike and I'm sure all of you will also agree with me. But regarding what this actually means, well, let's just say, for argument's sake, that the best outfit in terms of stats for Xenoverse 2 is going to be Goku's Wiz Symbol outfit. Let's just say it is. So for each piece of clothing for Goku's Wiz Symbol gear, you'll get 5 points in stamina, 5 points in basic attack, 5 points in strike supers, but minus 5 points in blast supers. So then what I can do is I can put each piece of this outfit into the QQ bang and it will then act as a sort of invisible 5th piece. So then, in theory, the QQ bang should give me a total of 20 points in stamina, 20 points in basic attack, 20 points in stroke supers and minus 20 points in key blast supers because that's the total stat of the Goku with symbol Gi. And next I can equip any piece of clothing or armor that I want and I will still have the same stats as Goku's with symbol Gi. So if I really wanted to I could then wear nothing at all but still have the same stats as someone who would be wearing Goku's Gi. And this applies to any other outfit or outfit combination that you can think of. So if you just want to wear the starting outfit for Saiyans, you can do and you will not receive any negative repercussions from stats. Same goes for Gohan's Dragon Ball Super or the Resurrection of F Green Tracksuit. You'll be able to wear that and still have incredible clothing stats. And it also mentions that if you put a material item into the Q Q bang, you can potentially get even better stats. And for those of you who have forgotten what a material item is, those were the things that you could pick up during parallel quests, um, like capsules and that soul echo device. So it looks like the basic items like those two I've just mentioned will have a bigger purpose in Xenoverse 2. And do you know what the best part about this is? If you think this is a terrible idea for whatever reason, then you do not have to do it. There's a new mode for online play called Zero Stats Mode. So literally everyone wins in this situation. So next, I want to talk about Super Souls. So as you can see here, the custom key blasts are tied to whichever Super soul you want to use. Oh fuck. So here it looks like you actually really can't use whichever custom key blast you want without having some sort of consequence on the effect or the stats of your super soul. I really hope that there's different variations of the same super soul but just with the different key blasts or better yet add an additional slot in the QQ bank so we can put in whichever custom key blast we want. So this way, Super Souls have nothing to do with the custom key blast. And you know what will be even better than that? Add a third slot in the QQ bang for custom auras. And for that, I'll just make it so it changes the aura of your base form. The reason I say this is because I just think that if you're Super Saiyan 3, then you should have a Super Saiyan 3 aura and not like a pink aura, it just doesn't look right in my opinion. I mean, I don't know. They could already have it so that you can combine any two super souls and keep the effect of one, 
but transfer the custom key blast of another one to the one you want to use. That's just something that makes sense for them to do. I, I don't know. Oh, it does fucking hire me. So that's pretty much going to do it for this bit of a mini analysis, I guess you could call it. So with that being said, I honestly do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.